Hello everyone and welcome to Travel the Globe, the channel for travel connoisseurs, explorers and for those with an act for adventure. <laughs> India is a massive country with a rich cultural heritage. The fact that India is surrounded by seven distinct nations as well as the Arabian Sea and the Bay of Bengal means that it has a diverse landscape that may be experienced from many different perspectives. Within the boundaries of India, there are more than 20 official languages, different religions, and a wide diversity of culinary traditions. But with such a diverse culture and area, which city should you go to first? Keep watching till the end of the video because our number one pick will surely amaze you. With that said, here are 10 of India's most popular tourist destinations. Number 10. Udaipur Udaipur, sometimes known as the City of Lakes, is located on the outskirts of the desert in the Indian state of Rajasthan. The city is surrounded by verdant hills, and within its borders is where you'll find the entrancing Lake Palace, which is situated in the middle of a peaceful lake. Both the City Palace and the Monsoon Palace have walls constructed of brilliant white marble, which makes them a striking sight. The city palace is particularly impressive, while the monsoon palace is very graceful. Visit historic temples, wander the meandering lanes of this fantastical part of India, and immerse yourself in another era while you shop in the region's centuries-old bazaars. Number 9. Amritsar Amritsar, which is located in the province of Punjab and shares a border with Pakistan, is the most sacred city in the Sikh religion. The Golden Temple, a tranquil Sikh shrine, can be found in the center of the old walled city. This holy site offers visitors a chance to think deeply and find inspiration. No matter what faith you practice, you are welcome to see the Gold Temple. Nevertheless, in order to show respect, you will be required to remove your shoes and cover your head. In the streets that encircle the temple, you'll find a chaotic mix of people, merchants, and other kinds of activities. Be sure to pick up some authentic souvenirs like hand-embroidered fabrics and shoes with intricate detailing while you're there. Number 8. Ladakh Ladakh a place known for its rugged landscape can be found in the most northern part of India, in the contested area of Kashmir. This area is vast, yet the population is spread out across a wide area, and there are also a good number of nomads living here. The area is known for its breathtaking and untouched nature, which is one of its primary draws, but almost all tourists will also spend some time in the town of Leh. The town is situated at an extremely tall height, and it is the location of the palace that was used by the king of Ladakh back in the 17th century. Buddhist culture is also prevalent in Leh, and you may like to see some of the many Buddhist monasteries and temples. Number 7. Varanasi Varanasi is a city that many people from the West may find to be strange due to the city's significant religious importance. The holy city, which is considered by Hindus to be a hallowed place of pilgrimage due to its location on the banks of the heavenly Ganges, can be found in India. The city is well known for the religious rituals that are carried out on the ghats that run along the river. Pilgrims bathe in the Ganges and the bodies of Hindus are cremated on the ghats. The sights of life and death along the riverside can be shocking, but a visit to Varanasi is also contemplative and ultimately it helps visitors gain a deeper understanding of India's profound cultural and spiritual practices. Number 6. Kerala the state of Kerala is located in the southern part of India and is famed for its lush tropical beauty. There are numerous attractions in the area, including palm trees, beaches with white sand, and opportunities for ecotourism. In addition to its illustrious backwaters, elegant houseboats, and religious celebrations, Kerala is home to the Thakadi Tiger Reserve. Kochi is the most important city in the state of Kerala and it is here that you can find a vibrant local fishing industry coexisting with contemporary skyscrapers and historical buildings. 
Indeed, India is a land full of culture and wonder. But so far, which Indian city are you looking forward to traveling to soon? Let us know in the comments below. If you're liking this video, be sure to hit the like button. This will help support the channel and will boost the video to other travel enthusiasts. And now, back to our list. Number 5. Goa Beaches Goa, a Portuguese colony that is now part of India, is located on the country's western coast and attracts a significant number of tourists from all over the world. Its culture is a fusion of Portuguese and Indian traditions. The beautiful beaches of Goa are most responsible for the state's enormous tourist industry. The beach known as Kandalim is consistently the most crowded because it is the destination of choice for tourists from all over the world. On the other hand, Anjuna Beach has a significantly lower number of visitors. It is also an incredible location from where you can walk to Chapura Fort and take in the sandy shoreline from a fresh vantage point. Both of these experiences are available here. As a result of its natural bay and the tall headlands that surround it on each side, Palalem Beach is often regarded as being among the most beautiful beaches in the entirety of Goa. Number 4. Elyora and Ajanta Caves Caves known as Elyora and Ajanta may be found in the Indian state of Maharashtra and can both be explored. A huge complex of shrines that have been carved out of the surrounding rock can be found in Elyora. There are three distinct religions represented by these 34 cave shrines, Buddhism, Jainism, and Hinduism. Some of these cave shrines are as old as 1,500 years. Ajanta can be reached in two hours and features 29 caverns to explore. The murals and paintings in the Ajanta Caves, the majority of which depict Buddhist tales, encompass the whole interior of the caves. In spite of the fact that the two cave systems are separated by a driving time of two hours from one another, it is highly recommended that you check out both of these amazing destinations. Number 3. Delhi If you are going to spend any significant amount of time in northern India, you should definitely go to the nation's capital city, Delhi. This enormous and sprawling location is known as one of the oldest cities in the world, and it contains several distinct neighborhoods. The Red Fort, which was constructed in the 17th century, is considered to be one of the most significant landmarks in Delhi. You will be able to stroll through the Lahore Gate of the Red Fort, which is made of sandstone, through the bazaar, through the Jewel Palace, and even inside the former apartment of the Sultan. The Red Fort was constructed in the 16th century. During your time in Delhi, you shouldn't forget to schedule some sightseeing visits to the city's numerous museums and religious buildings. Number 2. Agra Agra is famous for one thing, the magnificent Taj Mahal, which dominates the skyline of the city. The Taj Mahal, which can be seen on the Yamuna River's opposite side, is visited by a staggering number of people each year. The mausoleum's exterior is made of porcelain white marble, which is a symbol of both romance and adventure. It was built by an emperor as an elaborate memorial to his wife. Although it is dwarfed by its famous landmark, the city of Agra itself is warm and inviting despite its modest size. You can get your first mesmerizing look at the Taj Mahal from the ancient Agra Fort, which was built during the Mughal Empire and is now a popular tourist destination. Peer over the fort's walls. And finally, at number 1, Jaipur. Amber Fort is a large, breathtaking structure that is built on the hillside overlooking a lake that can be seen in the pink city of Jaipur which serves as the capital of Rajasthan. Jaipur is also known as the Pink City. The magnificent citadel, which dates back to 1592 and is situated just on the outskirts of the city, served for a period as a palace but is now mostly used as a popular tourist destination. Make it a point to explore the sumptuous city palace, which is home to some of the very breathtaking courtyards and gardens in addition to the incredibly ornate Palace of Winds. 
In addition to being one of the three points that make up the Golden Triangle, Jaipur is an excellent starting point for excursions to less well-known locations within the state of Rajasthan. Excited to experience India? Which authentic Indian food are you dying to try there? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on all notifications by hitting that bell icon. Looking for more travel ideas? Check out our other videos for more Travel the Globe videos like this one. Until next time, 